Princeton, Pr Princeton Masters. Princeton. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this week's episode of Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts, Jason. And I'm Tia. And on this week's episode, we got a treat for you. We got a nice, 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 tonal treat for you. Oh, I thought you were going to say recall. No, nah, nah, we aren't doing that one. We probably should since they've skyrocketed on reverb. But anyways, we are checking out the Princeton Reaver. <laughs> the Princeton f We are checking out the newest addition to the Tone Master lineup, the Tone Master Princeton Reverb. If you haven't known, the Tone Master series has been around for actually as of filming this. Today's the 26th? I don't know. Yeah. They were announced three years and three days ago. Why do you uh, know that? Because uh, when I was writing the script, uh, I was literally looking <laughs> at the video like, I of when it, down it was released. To the day. Well, no, no, I was writing to the, the hour. I was writing the script, and then I saw this it like I was business. looking at the product drop video, and it was literally three years. Because I was like, why does some of them say three years, some of them say two years? I'm just surprised you didn't count down to like the hour. No, I don't know that much because California time. The uh, Princeton Reverb. So it joins the Tone Master lineup, which they were released three years ago. Three years and three days. Three years and three days. Three years and three days ago as a filming of this video in that lineup as of three years and three days ago was the deluxe and the tone master i don't know when the super was released so how dare you i know i i know take 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 my offsets and fenders away from me i don't know when the super joined the lineup but it did and also to point this out there emily has a super awesome review of the Super, but you know, you're here for the Princeton, but watch her review. Other than that, so what makes the Tone Master a Tone Master? To the untrained eye, they look exactly alike. Well, not really, because this is a silver era. But to the untrained eye, this looks identical to its black panel counterpart, because we are not using the term blackface. Hey, it'd be funny. No, we're not using that. No, no. Blackface isn't funny? No, 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 no. <laughs> So this is the black panel. Go ahead. I don't, I don't <laughs> Go ahead. This is the black panel <laughs> version. So, per the Fender product video, the Tone Master was designed to figure out a solution that I don't know if most players even asked for, but that's neither here or there. Well, it was designed. It's a problem. Well, as you see, Tia, amps are heavy. What? Not in the metal way. What? Yeah, they weigh heavy, but we don't fat shame. Like them thick, all right? Yeah, they like them thick, we, like the tones thick. We, we don't fat shame. As far as, fat, like, oh yeah, as far as tone, we do not discriminate around these parts. Yeah, as far as tone goes, we don't fat shame. We fat claim. So right. if it's thick, we like them thick. Come over if you thick. Yeah, come. Over. <laughs> but anyways, this is kind of ironic because this is a digital recreation of their famous tube amps, in particular the black panel era. Oh my gosh, I can feel the heat. Yeah. The Tone Master line was designed to be a professional solution for the modern player. At their core, they're a digital recreation of their vintage counterparts. So what are some of the modern features that kind of separate the two? One, you have a balanced XLR line output with impulse response for the TLDR crowd, level control, and a ground switch. So if you need a quiet stage or you're recording, you can do that. On the back, you have a built-in attenuator that can go from like half a watt to its full 12 watts. Keep in mind, this is rated more so to be a power amp counterpart since it is a digital recreation and it's not a tube, so they kind of match up. There might be some variances if you're comparing the two, like we are, side by side. Let's see, what are we doing? Yeah, we're comparing both. Oh, shit. Yeah, All right. but. But you, you, here, here, we got more features. There is more. But wait. But wait. There's more. There is more. So you have a USB port for firmware upgrades, which kind of weird to think about. I'm like, oh yeah. But yeah. everything's digital, you know, things improve and you may need to update. You have a balanced line output, which offers two cab sims, output level and a ground lift. Also not typical of a Princeton, on the back, you typically have one power switch. On this, you have two power switches because one of them is a silent switch. So it's kind of like, you know, you have the power and then and then a standby. Fender was doing this recently with the Super, but it has a 10 inch Jensen speaker. So it's not like the 
the neodymium magnet that they had in the others. I can't remember it. You can correct me in the comments. So it is a bit heavier. It does make this a tad bit heavier. This should be noted that this is Tia's first time with the Tone Master Princeton. Uh, I've had it for a couple days and I've been uh, playing it myself. And I'm super jealous. Yeah. I want a Princeton. I bought this. And we were, <laughs> it was like, let me phrase that. I bought this, but it came in a lot sooner than I thought it would. So I, I was like, why not? So we're comparing it to a 68 Custom Princeton, which the custom lineup is kind of like a vintage modified lineup, if you will, but made in Mexico. Now, with all that jibber jabber out of the way, onto the sound. Surf, I don't know. No. Surf is Ryan from 60 Cycle Hump today. Where's Surf adjacent? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Surf. So uh, what I'm going to do, just so I don't somewhat spoil Tia's first impression, I'm playing both at the same time. So for the folks at home for this demo, I'm using my American original 60s Jazz Master. Again, probably gonna run this joke into the ground, not to be confused with an original 60s American Jazz Master. I am using some slight effects. I've pared them down. The dig, which we will definitely get around to doing a review for that, I promise. And the Strymon Sunset, just so you guys can hear some drive tones, uh, because drive is important. So yeah, let's do it. Delay. So you guys can hear how this handles effect pedals effects. Oh. just drive by itself. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, Jimmy Eero, no.
like a country band. I don't even know how to play country. There you go, we start country band. To final thoughts and first impressions. So I'll go first. I'll go first because because uh, I, I want to save your first impression for last. I mean, there's only two of us. Yeah, I mean, there's only. Uh, <laughs> I came in second place out of yeah. a two-man contest. Yeah, first first loser. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what Papa Mays used to say. <laughs> second place, you're the first loser. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think this is the best sounding out of the Tone Master lineup. My thing that I've always said to everybody. I know they look like a black face. I, I can say that. I mean, I think I think so. My best friend is black, so I think we're cool. I think we can say it. We're Plenty clear on blackface. It's best sounding out of the blackface amplifiers. I personally, like out of the Tone Masters, I have a tear for them. Um, and I guess maybe one day we'll do an in-depth episode. Probably, I don't know, probably not, who knows. But yeah, I think the Tone Master is the best sounding. I do think it is loud, it is loud. But one of the things that I love about the Tone Masters are their super light. I think this is the most accurate sounding out of them all because I owned the deluxe and I owned the twin if I'm being completely honest didn't really care for the twin um, maybe that's my disdain for twins the deluxe I thought was triplets they're cool <laughs> yeah triplets are cool come my way yeah uh, twins, get, yeah. get that shit out of here yeah yeah get that yeah but uh the deluxe I thought was like meh you know and the super actually light I like the super a lot and having played all of them I'm questioning why did Fender release this until I played it and then after playing it, there's some other questions that I'll get into later that I have about it. But in short, I think this is the best sounding of the Tone Master series. I like the little slap. This yeah. baby has so much tone. She has so much tone in this Tone Master. Get you some tone in this Tone Master. Right. Someone's jealous. It's okay. It's all right. It's like when you get a new puppy, it's okay. <laughs> I will say my only big criticism, and this is just me being me, the price. It's priced at nine hundred dollars. Um, How much is a tube version? Like the 11? tube version, that one starts at eleven ninety nine, and then the blackface yep. starts at twelve ninety nine, I believe. I don't know. Prices have gone up, so yeah. But just, with, just assume it's months rent. Yeah, it's going to be a hard sell for a lot of people because you can get the deluxe for fifty dollars more. You get 
pretty much double the wattage, 12 inch speaker, and you still kind of get some of the same features. But I will say this beats the deluxe in terms of sound, bar none. They're getting good. I, I, maybe UA scared them a little bit with the dream. And they were like, like uh, we gotta claim our, our yeah. territory again. Or maybe that's what maybe that's what they were talking about at GearFest when he was like, oh, we can't talk about that right now. I know you probably can't tell us, but is there anything new in the Tone Master lineup? Or is that just like something we can't talk about? Or maybe. maybe. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, it's this was it. Together. Yeah, it's all it's all coming together. Oh my God, it's like a movie. Yeah. Throwback to that, that one offline. Yeah, but it paid I, off. I, yeah, he, it did pay off. It was like, oh, OK, because he, he damn sure didn't tell us afterwards or even oh, after. He, he left. Yeah, Rick did not tell us. Like, <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> that's really it. Like, I, I think the only negative is just because, like, you can find a used Princeton for around the same price, if not less right now. And the thing is, while the weight is one of the biggest benefits of the Tone Master series, Princeton doesn't really weigh a lot. It is heavy. It is like tube amp heavy, but it's not like back breaking heavy. Yeah. I guess that's why I posed the question. Like, I'm not certain who this is for when you compare it to the likes of the Deluxe, because it's just like for fifty dollars more. Yeah. I mean, with that, I feel like it could be for like older people. Yes. Like there's a lot of old cats who already have like a wall of amps and like maybe back in the day they had a Princeton. Yeah, and it looks <laughs> back. <laughs> and they had one back in the day, but you know, with age, you lose muscle, your joints hurt. So something lightweight, or even if you're like me and you're in your 20s and your joints hurt, this would be a good option. That or I can see that, you know, a lot of millennials, younger people are either living with a lot of roommates or in a multi-generational household on average. There are obviously people who own a home or are able to afford to live by themselves, but for a lot of people, not so much. So I can see this fitting in for someone who has to worry about noise, I would say within the home. So if they want something that they can record with, that still sounds great. And you've got that whole option, you know, the, just the XLR out, like the line out by itself, that was my first thought. Like, okay, this is for someone who wants great sound, but can't be loud all the time, or at least has to be mindful of their volume because of the surrounding area. Damn, Fender needs to hire you because you definitely just sold the <laughs> hell out of that to me. Yeah, so I'm curious, what was your first impressions though? Um, it sounds fantastic and I want one Fender, please. I absolutely love it. Like, I don't have any Fender amps. I've said it a million times, I'm very happy with my amp, but I do mentally have one or two that I would like to add, and one of them is a Fender, specifically a Deluxe or a Princeton. It's just a lot of extra money for an amp you don't really gig with, if that makes sense. Like it's perfect for a studio session, or if you're doing, I don't wanna say like restaurant music, but you know. I, know, I, was, I, was, I was gonna say to add on to that, like maybe like, like a small band, like no larger than like three pieces, like a jazz band. That's literally what I was imagining. Yeah, like mm. a jazz band, like a house band or anything like that. So this would be perfect for like grabbing that, throw it in your car. You don't even need an SUV or a truck or anything. Yeah. The trunk of my car is almost non-existent and I could fit a couple of these in there. So that would be perfect for if you're someone like me and tend to get smaller cars or not a lot of storage room, this would be a great option. You can fit so many cars in this thing, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm pretty much sold. Like I said earlier, like I'm not gonna say I'm in the market for a Princeton because my money is kind of going elsewhere right now. But if an amp was number one on my list, it would be a Fender amp. And the Tone Master is making it really difficult to you know, decide between the OG or getting a Tone Master because it's like with the attenuator alone in the line out, like if you're like me doing a lot of recording at home, that is literally perfect. I wouldn't have to worry about micing it up and like messing with you guys or anything that you might be doing. Same for the people at home, again, roommates, family, whoever it is you're staying with, animals, neighbors, I don't I don't know, if you live in the forest. Sure. But yeah, in short, Fender's making it really hard for, at least myself, because I can only speak for me, but it's making it very difficult to decide between getting a traditional tube amp, because as a guitar player, I think I've just been conditioned to like older technology, because it does sound great. We know how tubes work, we know how they sound, and it's really difficult to recreate how they feel. That sounds really silly if you don't play guitar or if you don't play a loud amp, but the feeling that you get is very different than what you would normally get from like a solid state or digital amplifier. 
but Fender did a really good job of kind of creating more of that feeling. I think to add to that, as far as in terms of feel, one thing I like to do is test it with drive because there's a certain way that it sounds that it sounds like when you push drive through a solid state, because you're solid state through solid state, yeah. it tends to sound like solid state. The snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> but with the Princeton, one thing that won me over was it sounded beefy, it sounded nice. Yeah. And it was just like, it sounded- It, it sounded thick. Yes, it sounded <laughs> thick. Again, no fat shaming. I think the Fender has a winner. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I did, especially comparing them. I was pleasantly surprised. I've been telling Xander, like, I was like, oh, I'm probably gonna end up returning it. And probably when I was like, now I'm like, you probably won't. Please don't. Uh, yeah. You can return it to my office. There you go. That works. Right across the hall. Just like, here you go. Makes it easy. But, <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's closing time. It's closing time for this episode. Again, we have Patreon merch. This you can purchase on our affiliate link. Through Sweetwater. Yeah, through Sweetwater, which. Do it, they give you candy. Yeah, they give you candy. Uh, again, Emily, if you're checking out, or again, if you're checking out. <laughs> Emily, <laughs> this is for you. This is for you, Emily. Emily, again. everyone else stop watching, so, Emily. <laughs> Emily, if you're checking out or you're interested in the other amps in the Tone Master lineup, Emily does have a really good review on the Super and I would highly implore that you check it out because she's awesome. So yeah, Patreon merch, uh, Emily, <laughs> uh, um, social media, uh, you know, check us out on all the socials. We have a TikTok, Instagram, everything. What all, else? All the things. We're on the, we're on the internet. Damn, this is a lot to go through now. In the comments, tell us what's your favorite Fender amp like uh, that you'd like to see next in a Tone Master lineup. I like that. But all right then, laters. Adios. You should uh, not have said that. You should not have said that. Uh, <laughs> no, now I don't want to play. <laughs>